Texans are now required to wear a face mask in public after Governor Greg Abbott's executive order yesterday. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kaylee Green. Andy and Jackie have the night off. The order applies in counties with more than 20 active COVID-19 cases. KMAR Local 4's Jack Kessler spoke with local law enforcement agencies about how they plan to enforce that order. We're bringing you more facts, not fear, tonight at 10. That new executive order from Governor Greg Abbott just went into effect Friday a little after noon and we spoke with Potter County Sheriff's Office and the Amarillo Police Department on how they will enforce this new order. Potter County Sheriff Brian Thomas says Governor Abbott was put in a difficult situation and in turn that decision was pushed down to the cities and counties to make sure citizens are safe. We're going to try to do everything we can with verbal warnings at this point. It's not worth getting into a fight over if somebody's not going to wear a mask. It's just not worth it. The first time somebody violates the mask order, they will get a warning. After that, they could face a fine of as much as $250 although jail time is not an option. Sergeant Carla Burr says if the only reason that someone is calling APD is someone is not wearing a mask, they are not going to respond to those calls. We're not being called out on that, and if people do call and say, I see a lot of people not wearing a mask, we're not sending officers out to police that. Sergeant Burr says the Emerald Police Department isn't trying to make people feel bad or trying to get people in trouble. They're just trying to keep people safe. The governor issued the order. We've been tasked with um, enforcement. So if we are out and if there is an issue where we are asked to, you know, talk to people about it, we're going to try to get people to voluntarily comply. Governor Abbott also issued a proclamation giving mayors and county judges the ability to impose some restrictions on outdoor gatherings involving more than 10 people. Live in studio, Jack Hesser, KMR Local 4. J J Kaylee, back to you. Jack, thank you. Some of those who don't have to wear masks include kids who are younger than 10, people with medical conditions, those who are eating, and people exercising outdoors. See our local counties, which have 20 or fewer active COVID-19 cases and have been exempt from the mask order at myhighplains.com.